As the future Queen of Great Britain, Princess Catherine, renowned for her vibrant personality, philanthropic endeavors, and unique fashion sense, faces the unfolding chapters of her life with a blend of grace and resilience. Each passing day draws her closer to the relentless clutches of pain and mortality, following the heart-wrenching revelation of her cancer diagnosis. A chilling fear grips her devoted fans and loved ones, while even medical experts are left pondering what fate may await her should she be left to endure the excruciating pain each day brings. The weight of the decisions concerning her life falls heavily upon her and her beloved husband, Prince William, as they navigate the tumultuous waters of uncertainty and despair. Join us as we embark on a detailed exploration of the profound impact of this pivotal moment on the royal household, delving into the intricacies of Princess Catherine's journey from her early years to the present day. Princess Catherine, born into an upper-middle-class family on January 9, 1982, at the Royal Berkshire Hospital in Reading, embodies a lineage steeped in tradition and aristocracy. Her parents, Michael Middleton and Carol, both professionals in the aviation industry, instilled in her a sense of duty and compassion from an early age. Raised alongside her siblings, Philippa and James, Catherine's upbringing was marked by a blend of privilege and humility, as her family moved between various locales, including Berkshire and Jordan. Education played a pivotal role in shaping Catherine's formative years, with her enrollment at prestigious institutions such as St. Andrew's School and Marlborough College. Despite the trappings of her social status, Catherine embraced opportunities to broaden her horizons, including a gap year spent studying in Italy and Chile, as well as engaging in charitable endeavors both at home and abroad. Her path intersected with Prince William's during their time at the University of St. Andrews, where a romance blossomed amidst the hallowed halls of academia. Their courtship captured the imagination of the world, culminating in a fairy tale wedding at Westminster Abbey in 2011, witnessed by millions around the globe. In the years that followed, Princess Catherine embraced her role as a prominent member of the royal family, balancing her royal duties with a deep commitment to charitable causes close to her heart. From children's hospices to mental health initiatives, Catherine's impact transcended the confines of royalty, earning her accolades and admiration from all corners of society. However, the idyllic facade of royal life was shattered by the stark reality of a cancer diagnosis, plunging Catherine and her family into a maelstrom of uncertainty and anguish. Yet, amidst the darkness, there shines a beacon of hope in the unwavering support of her husband, Prince William, and their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Together, they confront the daunting challenges that lie ahead, drawing strength from their love and unity in the face of adversity. As Catherine embarks on her journey of healing, her resilience and courage serve as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, inspiring millions around the world to confront their own struggles with grace and fortitude. While the road ahead may be fraught with obstacles, Princess Catherine's unwavering resolve and the outpouring of support from her global community offer a glimmer of hope in the darkness. As we stand in solidarity with her and her family, let us rally behind Princess Catherine, holding fast to the belief that love and compassion will ultimately prevail, illuminating even the darkest of nights with the promise of a new dawn. As Princess Catherine continues her courageous battle against cancer, each step forward is a testament to her strength and resilience. With every treatment, every setback, and every triumph, she is a beacon of hope.
a symbol of perseverance in the face of adversity. In the midst of her struggle, Princess Catherine finds solace in the outpouring of love and support from her family, friends, and well-wishers around the world. Their unwavering presence serves as a source of comfort and inspiration, propelling her forward on the path to recovery. And as the days turn into weeks, and the weeks into months, Princess Catherine's journey becomes a testament to the power of the human spirit. It is a journey marked by courage, determination, and unwavering faith. A journey that inspires all who witness it to believe in the possibility of miracles. In the hearts of those who love her, Princess Catherine's strength becomes a guiding light, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope. And in the depths of her own soul, she finds the resilience to keep fighting, to keep believing, and to keep moving forward, one day at a time. As Princess Catherine's story unfolds, it becomes a rallying cry for all those who find themselves facing their own battles. It is a reminder that no matter how insurmountable the odds may seem, there is always hope, there is always strength, and there is always the possibility of a brighter tomorrow. As Princess Catherine's journey unfolds, she finds herself navigating the complexities of treatment with a steadfast resolve and a heart full of hope. Each day brings its own set of challenges, from the physical toll of chemotherapy to the emotional strain of uncertainty. But through it all, Princess Catherine remains resolute in her determination to overcome the obstacles in her path. With the unwavering support of her family and the tireless dedication of her medical team, she presses on, one step at a time, towards the promise of brighter days ahead. In the quiet moments of reflection, Princess Catherine finds solace in the simple joys of life, a warm embrace from her children, a whispered word of encouragement from Prince William, the gentle touch of a nurse's hand. These small moments of connection serve as beacons of light in the darkness, reminding her of the love and support that surrounds her. And though the road ahead may be long and uncertain, Princess Catherine draws strength from the knowledge that she is not alone in her journey. From the halls of Kensington Palace to the hearts of people around the world, an outpouring of love and support lifts her spirits and fuels her determination to keep fighting. As she continues her treatment, Princess Catherine remains steadfast in her commitment to raising awareness about cancer and advocating for better access to care. Her journey serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of early detection, regular screenings, and the critical need for continued research and innovation in the fight against this devastating disease. And as she looks to the future, Princess Catherine holds fast to the belief that with love, courage, and resilience, anything is possible. Though the road may be challenging, she faces it with grace and determination, guided by the unwavering support of those who stand beside her. So let us stand together, united in our support for Princess Catherine and all those who are battling cancer. In her journey, we find inspiration to face our own challenges with strength and grace, knowing that with love and determination, anything is possible. Prince and Princess of Wales Catherine's charity work primarily focuses on issues surrounding young children mental health sports addiction and art her impact on charitable donations and project visitability has. Being called the Kate Effect she holds several charitable patronages action for children the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club the Anna Frud Centre East. Anglia's Children's Hospices each Avena London Children's Hospital Family Action The Maternal Mental Health Alliance The National Portrait Gallery The Natural History Museum NHS Charities Together June 2021 Catherine was 
announced as patron of the Forward Trust after its merger with Action On. Addiction as a patron, she launched a campaign titled Taking Action On. Addiction Catherine has worked extensively in children's palliative care, alongside East Anglia's children's hospices and undertakes private visits. To children's hospices and their families she made her first public address at the opening of their Ipswich facility in 2012 Catherine officially opened their Nor Hospice in 2019 after launching their financial appeal in 2014, which raised pound 10 a.m. she has engaged in raising awareness of Children's Hospice Week since 2013 Catherine is a keen sportswoman and attends Wimbledon annually she has patronised the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club since 2016 Catherine who enjoys sailing has occasionally participated in the sport to raise money for charity 2012 Catherine launched Coach Core with her husband and brother Harry the program was set up following the 2012 Olympics to provide apprenticeship opportunities for people who desire to pursue a career as professional coaches in 2014 she and William were awarded honorary life membership of the Merrill LeBone Cricket Club in July 2019 she supported Backyard Nature a campaign to inspire children families and communities to get outside and engage with nature in august 2019 the couple comp competed in the king's cup yachting rata to raise money for eight charities in february 2022 she became patron of the rugby football union and the rugby football league both governing bodies that were previously Supported by her brother-in-law Harry on February she stated in the video at the time it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous the surgery was successful however tests after the operation found cancer had been present. What is preventive chemotherapy I am as curious as you are according to Dr. Park. Preventive technically called adult chemotherapy likely refers to a Treatment that is conducted at after any initial interventions such as surgery to prevent cancer from returning clinical trials have found that chemotherapy after initial treatments such as surgery which Kate had can reduce the risk of the cancer recurring Park said even though the surgeons have removed everything they can see there could still be cancer cells floating around in the body that if left untreated may come back later and then become incurable. Park who does not have details about Kate's specific condition Ishan says. Park said the purpose of preventive chemotherapy is trying to maximize the treatment a patient has already received to eliminate all of the cancer cells. Kate added that the news of her cancer diagnosis came as a huge shock noting that she and William were aiming to manage this privately for the sake of the young family she said as you can imagine this has taken time it has taken me time to recover from major surgery to start my treatment but most importantly it has taken us time to explain everything to George Charlotte and Loyuse in a way that is appropriate for them and to reassure them that I am going to be okay the princess assured viewers in the video that she is well and getting stronger every day she also asked for time space and privacy as she undergoes treatment and said she is focused on making a full recovery but then it's important to note that Catherine wasn't the first member of the family diagnosed with cancer Buckingham Palace announced on February 5th that King Charles III was diagnosed with cancer after undergoing a procedure for benign prostate enlargement the palace did not specify what kind of cancer but clarified that it was not prostate cancer since Catherine's cancer diagnosis the prince and princess of Wales's family's lives have undergone a 
Dramatic transformation and enclosed source claims that Princess Catherine's battle has significantly impacted her and her family's lives although the precise timing and nature of her cancer are still unknown it is known that she is receiving chemotherapy and will be taking a leave of absence from her royal responsibilities for an indeterminate amount of time according to early reports the princess of wales wouldn't be visible to the general public until at least june london clinic opened an investigation into a possible privacy law violation in march 2024 after discovering that three employees had tried to access catherine's personal medical information after her hospital discharge we hope the media will behave this time and let the royal household care for catherine without interfering catherine has proven to be a reliable member of the british royal family we sincerely hope that she recovers over time how soon will catherine return to her royal duties well catherine has not yet returned since announcing her cancer diagnosis in March the palace said in an official statement the prince will return to official duties when she is cleared to do so by her medical team she is in good spirits and focused on fully recovering but then William the Prince of Wales returned to royal duties in mid-April an April 16th statement released by the palace said that on April 18th the prince was due to visit surplus to supper a surplus food redistribution charity where he would see how surplus food from across the local area is delivered sorted and repackaged for delivery to small organization Asians he also traveled to West London to visit a youth center that receives these meals these visits mark the prince's first Official engagement since Kate announced she was undergoing treatment his public comments on his wife's health have been minimal but in a May 10th appearance he reportedly said she's doing well and that's our prayers as well we hope that the family will find the fortitude to push through this challenging moment in their lives so let us continue to stand beside Princess Catherine to lift her up in prayer and to surround her with love and support and let us do so not just for her but for all those who are fighting their own battles knowing that together we can overcome even the greatest of challenges thanks for watching this video before leaving please check out other videos on your screen Bye. <laughs>